What Not to Say to the Suffering Believer. Daily Bible Time, Monday morning, Dominic Steele here. And we are spending five weeks in the book of Job. Things too wondrous for me to know. And Job is suffering. We start chapter four and he's desperately alone. He's, he's really without hope. Chapter three finishes with the massive cry out, why, why, why God? And then chapters four through 27, which we're looking at this week, we're going to do the whole treatment of this big, broad, bunch of chapters this coming Sunday at Village, it is the disastrous way that his attempts, his friends attempt to bring him comfort. They start well, they sit with Job in silence, and that's actually good. They don't do anything wrong at that point, but then clearly they they muck it up almost immediately. The structure is the the three friends each speak in turn, Eliphaz, Bildad, then Zophar. Their names are so cool, they sound like they're straight out of Lord of the Rings. And then they make their speeches, and then it goes around again. And then it goes around again. And after each of their speeches, Job gets a speech in reply. And they get it wrong, dreadfully wrong. We know that because when you look at Job 42, this is what God says. Job 42 verse 7. After the Lord had finished speaking to Job, he said to Eliphaz the Temanite, I am angry with you and your two friends, for you have not spoken the truth about me as my servant Job has. The divine verdict on the words of the friends is damning. Some people wrongly quote the words of Job's three so-called comforters as if they're kind of prophets of God, but God is against them. They're not speaking on behalf of God. And yet when you read through, so much of what they say is actually true, but it's only half the truth. They're false teachers, not so much because of what they say, but because of what they do not say. And look, actually, that's so much the problem. With many false teachers today, they might affirm half-truths about God, but they don't fully say what God says. We're going to do on the pastor's heart tomorrow a theological review of the Alpha Course. Tony Payne is going to join me for that. And that's actually one of the critiques of the Alpha Course, that it says a lot that's true, but it doesn't say all that's true. That's tomorrow on the pastor's heart. And uh, look, do read through Job 4 through to 27 so that you full bottle for when we study all of those chapters in Village Church this Sunday. See you tomorrow for Daily Bible Time.